All right, well, it snowed a couple days ago. <laughs> Yesterday it snowed. So, I didn't get to upload the video. I was busy, but basically it was Wednesday or so I meant to upload it, but I said I was gonna pick up something this weekend on Saturday, and I ended up doing it today. Even though we got snow and everything. So, let's go check it out. Here we go. Two more Cub kits. We got they're model 1200. They're both models. Decals are more This one uh, January of 1976. Sorry. The other one here is a uh, March of 1979. Um, it's a 38-inch deck, and this one's a 44, I think. That's a missile on it. But um, there's the other wheel frame for this one. Um, that deck was on this tractor. They haven't ran a year, two years, somewhere in there. Um, I have to throw a battery in them and see if they'll turn over at least. But they're in pretty good shape. Maybe. Now it is insanely cold, you get to see all the snow. It's about 20 and then with a wind chill. So this is the seven, uh, 76 model. So it's in pretty good shape. I have the coil and everything that's missing inside. The hood's really nice inside, but outside not so nice. But, um, this one had a 50. 50. We had to take them off to get them on the trailer as you can see the tire to tire maybe. But um paid what 400 bucks for them, which is a pretty good deal, so it's like 200 a tractor, including a mower deck for each. And it came with some other parts and stuff, I'll show you that in a minute. Um can get them run all the tires are holding so far, that's a good thing. Right now it's what Saturday about 5:30ish. So, oh yeah, so I got this. It's 22 with a wind chill of like negative three, I think. It is freezing out here. See, the, all the tire track just keep blowing over, and all the snow just blowing around. And then Tuesday we're supposed to get a nor'easter. I think that's what they say it. Oh, they're saying 24 inches of snow to. I think what, 24 to 36 inches, I think they're saying. So that's really gonna suck. I think the tire just went flat on me. Yep, it did. That sucks. I don't know. I'll figure it out. All the straps on it, too. So, so do that. So I'm going to have to edit it out. Once it gets, what happens, it's been so cold that I think we got moisture in the transmissions because they're both locked up. They're both frozen solid. <laughs> we had to drag them on the trailer. We had a pulley system of some sort. So we hooked it to the front of the tractor and the front bars and pulled that. And then it took me and my dad to pick up the back and then slide it. And then the guy there he helped us push it or pulled on the pulley to get it up here. So, that's that. I'll go show you the parts and stuff it came with. 104. Not done much of that. There's the 42. And the 127 I have actually came from the same guy who had those tractors. So, 1650. Those are the wheel weights it came with. I have bolts and stuff too. There's side panel for those two, that one, that, those two, and this one, and the one in the back. I think the one with the blue decals was for the better looking one. I think the 76 it was. Um, some parts. Oh, it's not blinking. That's like the most annoying thing I've ever seen. 
Now there's the mower deck belt for one of them. <clears throat> there's a seat for the one that doesn't have a seat, but it's kind of falling apart. Um, what, five wheel guard, it goes under the motor somehow. Got seat springs. This is a clutch disc. I think there's one, it could be two. Or maybe there's two, that'd be nice. Uh, let's uh, oh, that's for the clutch. It's a wear up bearing. Or uh, mm -hmm. uh, that's for oh, yeah, see. those Frankenstein bolt things that go there. Um, I don't know what that's for. It looks like the quick attach thing is a little like bent differently. There's the ignition coil and everything. That one doesn't have it. Right. Hub of some sort. And I guess more to miscellaneous bolts. Paperwork, I'll take that in. More deck parts and stuff. But yeah, I don't have to that, so. Be a, little, a fun little project to work on once it gets warmer. Collect these real quick. So, I think that's pretty much sums up that. So, Here's that paper and see what that is. That's how the shifter assembly works, I guess. Oh, I already have that one, we'll bring it in anyways. Add it to my books and stuff. I have the 1450 here. Um, I have a guy who has selling a QA42A, so I'm going to buy that. And put it on this machine. Or no, I'm sorry, I'm going to put the 54 inch back on this for the storm. And if I get it before the storm, I'm going to put the blower on the 1650 take that deck off. Because we're still trying to figure out the PTO situation. Um, I'm going to check and see what this is in there. How many discs there are. For example, there's two different clutch discs in here. So. Those are used <laughs> clutch discs. Huh. Put the metal on the inside. That's bizarre. I don't know why. This one here. The other one is there. Huh? Oh, I forgot. Look how many hours are on the tractor out there. I've got some oil too, sir. Anyway. Got it on sale at Tractor Supply, so said so why not? The hours are out things. This one there's about oh wow, that's pretty low. See if I can clean it up. So that one has about 400 hours on it, maybe a little bit more, a little less. I don't know. Well, this one seems to be a little bit better. So let me finish up real quick. So that one has 400 hours. This one, not sure. So it seems to be in better shape. I'm trying to get it. Besides so missing that stuff. Um, he drained the fuel out of this one, and I believe the carb as well. And that one, he left the fuel in the tank, but he shut off the fuel. And I'm hoping he ran it out. It's in the fuel bowl. So. Hopefully I can get these things running fairly easily. That'd be nice. I think that's it. I wanted to show you. It's picking up. So, I like to be in pretty good shape, so that's it. So
catch next time. We're gonna make a video if we get that storm. I'm not looking forward to it. I'm getting ready for the grass that was coming back. So like, subscribe. If you hit that um little bell when you hit subscribe, hit that, you could get to you get notifications when I go to upload a, or actually when I do upload a video, you'll get notifications on that. So if you do that, we'll get subscribers and likes and all that. And we'll see you next time.